Hidden Lake Primary School, formerly known as Hidden Lake Elementary School, was built in 2001 and is located um, at 1475 Prevat Road in Dothan, Alabama. In 2018, Dothan City Schools reconfigured this site as an early childhood school for students in kindergarten through second grade. Thus, the name Hidden Lake Primary. With arts integration, we bring together arts and non-arts standards to create hands-on, experiential, and meaningful learning experience. Teachers work together to integrate the arts, the sciences, literacy, math, and essential life skills. Selma Street is an EL Education Bright Key School. As an EL Education Signature School, all of our students are supported in being self-directed learners through engagement and high quality work. Embedded within our EL Education curriculum are the 21st century learning skills that all students need to know in order to be successful, those being communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. EL education is formerly known as expeditionary learning, and so in an EL education school you're going to see lots of project-based learning, hands-on, where the students are diving in into the curriculum, uh, pulling out evidence from the text, making inquiries, and so it's all things hands-on. Being named a Bright Key School was made possible through a partnership between the Wiregrass Foundation and the Dothan City Schools Board. We feel that as being a Bright Key School is the perfect pairing with our EL Education Signature because both are inclusive of all students and have a strong component uh, as it relates to the community. As being a Bright Key School, all of our students are afforded the opportunity to participate in tutorial services that take place in our academic dream room. In addition, our students participate in men mentoring services, namely Girls Incorporated and the Boy Scouts of America. And lastly, through our Bright Key program, our students are able to participate in career exploration activities. Heard Elementary School has been here for 58 years. Our signature is EL Education, uh, formerly known as Expeditionary Learning. With EL Education, they have um, three main um, focuses, and the first one being um, mastery of um, knowledge and skill. And what we are trying to do to make sure our students master those um, skills and the standards that are based on the curriculum, because this is a new curriculum. Also, um, another focus is character. We are building character in our students truly having a um, focus word every month where our students truly try to um, show their compassion. That is our word for this month. Also, we have a focus on um, high quality work. If you come and anyone is uh, welcome, you come, walk through the halls, walk in our classrooms. Our teachers are busy and our students are busy producing high quality work. We have um, a culture where we accept everyone. Everyone is accepted, everyone is appreciated, and everyone is valued. So it just makes a huge difference when it comes to our EL education and how they would like things to um, come to fruition when it comes to how we deliver the curriculum. So the curriculum is truly based on um, real life. Um, it, it's engaging. Um, our teachers are really seeing things that they can do that they didn't think they could do. Um, our students are seeing things that they can do that they didn't think they can do. If you walk the halls, you'll see a rainforest, you'll see you know, the sun, moon, and stars, um, things that they're not used to displaying, but it, it took us a while to get there. Um, we're in module two now, the learning, and um, just to see how our teachers are more excited about what's taking place. Then first, you know, it was like, okay, this is a new curriculum, and now, now to see them blossom is just amazing. The students are doing wonderful things as well as our teachers. Our Beverly Intermediate School is a three through six school. Uh, we service about 630 children. We are an A-plus art school. We are located on the southeast side of Dothan, Alabama. Our, our signature, we're an A-plus art school. Uh, first of all, it should be noted that our teachers spent five full days over the summer of 2019 being trained that we could be actually certified to be an A-plus art site, which is actually uh, an extension of A-plus arts schools of North Carolina. And with that being said, our school, we use arts to integrate our curriculum, meaning that our students are exposed to 
arts in the form of dance, music, drama, visual arts, um, different forms of art, whether it be painting, whether it be song, just all different shapes of art that we actually use to integrate and to enhance our curriculum. So whereas in a traditional school, teaching math just be, just may be teaching math using books and numbers, we teach math using uh, pictures. We teach math using uh, graphs. We teach math using true artwork that you may go to the library and check out a picture, a painting by an artist and we use that picture to actually find geometry. We use that picture to find space. We use that picture to uh, teach texture versus just being a school that just teaches things from textbooks. We're about 88 to 90 percent uh, Title I school, low income school. So our children are coming from some disadvantaged places and we have champion groups which we found our inspiration and motivation for those behind Rita Pearson. Uh, the educator who says that every child deserves a champion, an adult who will never give up on them, one who understands the power of connection and insists that they become the very best they could possibly be. So we believe that at Beverly. So each week we have uh, champion groups where 10 children meet with an adult on campus so these children know that you have someone on this campus that's looking uh, after your well-being, that's generally concerned, genuinely concerned about you, uh, that's committed to you. Um, being successful and with that program and with our other community partnerships we've been able to see a major decrease in our infractions as it relates to our culture so our students are bonding our teachers are bonding and we've just seen a major turnaround in the behaviors of our students and the self-motivation and the self-esteem of our students we're particularly proud of that we're also proud of our 4-H program where our children actually get a chance to experience real life components even at their young ages. We have girls that go in and well boys as well go in for H and they cook. Uh, they learn how to actually operate kitchens. They learn how we have a chickens, hens on our campus in our courtyard so the children go out and they pick eggs in the morning. They take care of the chickens. They learn how to uh, manicure yards and keep grass cut. Um, through the 4-H program. And so those are two things uh, the 4-H program does with our boys and our girls, and they really, really look forward to that 4-H program. Gerard Primary School is located in the Garden District in the city of Dothan. We are, like I said, a K-2 school. Uh, we are an IB school, International Baccalaureate School, and we are on the, we're applied, we are a candidate for the IB program. It is a three-year process. And so the first year is just developing the culture of your school, which I think that's great with the restructuring in the city of Dothan because it gives us the opportunity to get children to respond in the manner that is truly being a good citizen. So this year our focus has been on just identifying what our learner profile is, such as principal, doing what's expected, being caring, which is being kind to each other, and the other attributes that go along with the learner profile. If you hear the word IB, it stands for International Baccalaureate, and it's hard to pronounce, so we just say IB. The first year, you're just developing your culture, which that's what we're doing with our learner profile. Our signature is STEM, and what we focus on are the three C's, and that's collaboration, creativity, critical thinking, and communication. Uh, in saying that, we focus on those four C's, but with the Literacy Act um, coming into effect, uh, we don't want to forget or leave out uh, the importance of making sure that we're covering the standards in reading and mathematics to make sure that our students are reading and doing math at a proficient level. We're actually creating a hydroponic um, uh, where we harvest fish and we raise them, and once those fish reach a certain uh, size, we will take those fish to the Chattahoochee River and we'll disperse those fish into the Chattahoochee River. Also, we have a um, garden that we're creating and our students will have opportunity to work with ag agriculture, planting different types of vegetables, different types of fruits, and just have that experience of, of having the opportunity to uh, go out and do something with their hands. 
EL Elementary signature is EL Education, which is formerly Expeditionary Learning. Uh, for the first year, we have chosen to focus on the ELA modules, which means that each grade level focuses on a theme, and they teach it for about six to, to nine weeks, depending on the age. And it's not only focused in the reading block, it's um, embedded cr across the curriculum. So in science, social studies, math, grammar, foreign language, and even music and art. Um, and the gifted program as well. The, if you walk into a classroom, the makeups are, it's not your traditional classroom, so you're going to see a lot of flexible seating options, which encourages and promotes collaborative groups. And um, the teacher will be talking less, the students are going to be actively engaged, um, demonstrating critical skills, and as we know that that's what's needed in the real world for vital college and career ready. Um, the teacher's main role is to facilitate. Um, they guide the students on what their daily target is, and then it's the students who take ownership of the learning. We have crews that are set up each morning, and they focus on just characters of habits, and anything positive is carried throughout the whole month of whatever character habit that we're focusing on. So, um, as of now, we're doing respect again. And, um, the students uh, show respect in different ways and we have like the sixth grade crew goes down to a younger grade level and they hold crew for the younger kids and just to see in the mutual respect for uh, wanting to teach the children, the, the younger kids interacting with the older ones, um, it's just a joy to see how the culture has turned a lot more positive. The Dothan City Schools Head Start Preschool Program has 324 children enrolled in Dothan City as well as Houston County. Dothan City Schools is a grantee for the county schools. There are 18 to 20 children in each class and we are located in five different locations. One of the biggest points of Head Start is, is a comprehensive program. It not only looks at the welfare of children, but their parents and helping empower their parents um, to be advocates for their children's learning early on, letting them know how important they are to the learning process. Slingwiff Elementary School is a K-6 through school located on the northwest side of Dothan. As an EL school, our mission is to create classrooms where teachers can fulfill their highest aspirations and students can ultimately achieve more than they think possible and become active contributors to a better world. The EL curriculum promotes excellence by increasing student engagement in the mastery of content and skills, high quality student work and character building. We're very proud to offer art, music and Spanish as part of our new curriculum. Girard Intermediate School is an international baccalaureate primary years program and we focus on the development of the whole child as an inquirer both in the classroom and the world. It's a framework guided by six transdisciplinary themes, which all have global significance, and we explore the skills and content knowledge from the subject areas, math, science, social studies, and language arts, and we include foreign language, art, and music. And we have a powerful emphasis on inquiry, conceptual understanding, local and global context, and effective teamwork and collaboration. Our school is amazing. Students are engaged in real world activities. For example, we have a student government. Each classroom has an, a delegate elected every quarter. And we have student leadership who leads in such activities as a weekly Friday assemblies. And we also have our whole school participate in global projects like recently the Pinwheels for Peace. I'm also very proud of our media center. It's become the hub of our school, full of activity and engagement with students learning in a variety of modalities. In addition to the core content areas of math, science, social studies, and language arts, our students now receive art, music, and Spanish. They have media exploration and computer lab. The foundation of the International Baccalaureate PYP is based on the learner profile with a set of learning outcomes. It is a set of ideals that we use as inspiration, motivation, and focus for our teaching and work. So Dothan High School's signature is A-plus College Readiness, and A-plus College Readiness is a program through the state of Alabama that supports both um, advanced placement courses and non-advanced placement courses. Uh, we serve that in all grades, 10, 11, and 12. 
Uh, the advanced placement courses are courses that students are able to receive college credit for through qualifying scores. Uh, the A-plus classes in grades 10, 11, and 12 that include uh, U.S. History, um, Algebra 2 with Trig, Pre-Calculus, uh, English 10, and Chemistry uh, are classes that are supported by A-plus where uh, teachers are provided uh, resources, uh, teaching materials, lesson plans, uh, they have professional learning provided to them throughout the year. And overall, the A-plus program is all about rigor, increasing rigor in the classroom.